Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do another barrette mold. Um, in the previous one I did was my first try at doing them. And these are them here. They came out pretty cute, I like them. Um, but I learned a few things from doing that one. Um, I had used regular resin for the actual barrette mold, uh, for one thing. And I also used UV resin to glue the alligator clips on. Um, I found that for me that didn't work as well. So I'm going to do two different things today. I'm going to be using, since this is a clear mold, I'm going to be using UV resin um, for the barrettes. And then I'm going to be using this heavy duty resonate liquid fusion for the glue to glue the alligator clips on. I find that that works much better um, and more sturdy, uh, sturdier of a hold. So I'm going to, I've got four different molds here. Um, so I'm going to do two and two. So the first two, I have my glitters out. I like to use chunky glitters for these. Uh, you can use whatever you like, but I'm going to use this chunky light teal blue. And then this is actually a mix of two different glitters that I've had. One of them was kind of a fine silver and the other was, um, different shapes. So there's like stars and circles and that sort of thing. And then I'm also going to use this, uh, hexagon shaped, uh, multicolor, you know, very springy. So I have those in my... Uh, cups are ready. What I'm going to do is just add my UV resin to the um, to the glitter, so that way when I mix, it doesn't um, the glitter doesn't go all over the place. It probably shouldn't because I don't have that much in there to begin with. But just in case, I like to put it on the bottom. So I'm gonna put a little bit in there. And then we're going to give that a good mix and see if I need a little more. All right, so I think I'm going to start with the silver. And what I'm going to do is divide this in between two molds uh, since I'm doing two and two. So you just kind of want to place it in there where you want it to go. And make sure you get the corners really well. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with the blue. Again, just place it where you want it. That's going to be my next... I'm going to put a little bit on this side. Got a little too much there, so I'm just going to scoop it out and put it on the other side. There we go. And if you want them to kind of blend a little bit so you don't see such a harsh line, then just take your stick and kind of swirl them, the two colors together where they meet. And then the last color is going to be this very spring-like yellows, pinks, and and uh, or a little bit of oranges. We're just going to throw this at the end here. And again, I'm just going to swirl this over here to where the colors meet. And then do the same thing 
here so it's not such a stark line. And if you go over on your edges a little bit, like I kind of did in the last video, you can fix that at the end um, once it's cured. You can just take an X-Acto knife and clean it up. So now I'm going to do this barrette the same, but I'm starting at this side with the silver because as you can see, it's opposite sides the way that it's put in there in the mold. So I'm going to go ahead and put the silver first. And I apologize if you can hear planes. Uh, I'm working in an outside room and there's a loud one going over right now. It almost sounds like a Navy plane or, you know, an army plane or something really loud. So I apologize for that, guys. All right, so now we've got the silver. Now we're going to go in with our blue. And I think I'm going to need a little bit more of that, so I'm just going to dump a little glitter. little more resin perfect okay now I'm gonna go in with my blue I'm just gonna clean up the center there I don't want it. And again, I'm just kind of blending the two together. Lastly, I'm going to put in those pinks, yellows, and oranges. A little too much in there. And then now I'm going to move on to my other three colors. I'm going to do a purple, a blue, and a hot pink. So don't do what I did just there. I went to squeeze out my resin and blew the glitter all over the place. So make sure if your resin bottle is not completely filled that you shake it a little bit before you start adding, trying to squeeze it into your glitter because you'll do what I just did. All right, so we're gonna mix these up. And then get to dumping. Sorry guys, now you can hear an ambulance. Like I said, that's the part of the problem with working outside is not only do I hear airplanes, but I also hear ambulances because I live two blocks from a hospital. <laughs> All right, so those are mixed up. All 
right, so here, it's okay if the glitter is in there because I'm gonna, it's the glitter I'm using anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the pink. And just move it around where I want it. Careful not to go over the edge. <clears throat> I'm actually going to do this side too. I'm going to do each one together, if that makes sense, instead of doing one and then one. to the purple and then I'll do the blue. And then right after I do the purple here, I'm going to do the blue on both of them. So I tried to post these on Facebook uh, Marketplace. And also, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the app called Nextdoor. Um, you can post things for sale there, too. Um, I just posted them, you know, a couple days ago. By the time you guys see this, it will have been a couple days. I uh, haven't had any bites yet, but I thought these would be cute for um, Easter's coming up, so little girls could have them, you know, matching their Easter dresses. All right, now I'm going to do the blue. So, um, we'll see. Like I said, they haven't sold yet, but I just put them on a couple days ago, so we'll see if that works out at all. And also I wanted to mention, um... If anything you guys see that you like, I do sell all of my items. Um, some of them I make to give as gifts and that sort of thing, but uh, for the most part, I'm trying to, you know, start selling uh, my items more than I have been. So feel free to reach out. Um, my email is listed down below. So you can always reach out to me there. Uh, and you know if there's anything you want I can let you know how much and uh, shipping and all that depending on where you're located and um, yeah so email is the best way to reach me or you can uh, I also have my Instagram link down below so you can message me there as well so now I'm gonna take my UV flashlight and we're gonna give uh, go ahead and start curing this there's other ways you can cure as well. I also have this small UV uh, lamp, but that has to plug into either a computer or tablet or some sort of uh, device. And sometimes I do that, but I find it easier to use, if I'm doing small pieces like this, I find it easier to just use my flashlight.
right, so let's get this demolded. So that's what that looks like on the top side. I think that's really, came out really cute. Let's get the other one. And there you go. And you can see the little um, side pieces I have here. So what you want to do is just, like I said, you just take your X-Acto knife. And they just, if you do it right away, as opposed to when it cures, fully, fully cures, um, they come off real easy. So right there, you can see they're all gone already. And a little bit on the other one, not much, but we're gonna go ahead and just get that off too. Perfect, okay. Now let's demold these guys. And same thing, I just did a little bit of an overflow. We're just gonna cut that off. All right, there you go. That one came out good too. And this one's got quite a bit of stuff on the sides. So we're going to scrape that off. And if you find that once you scrape off, if it's still a little unsmooth, you can just take a little piece of sandpaper, um, a, like a fine sandpaper, and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. All right, there you go. Perfect. So these ones look really cute. Okay, so now that we've got these all ready, I'm going to take the liquid fusion, and this is the simple part. So you wanna make sure that you're putting the alligator clip on the bottom side, which is the, so essentially when you, um, where the mold go? What I do with my mold already? Oh, here it is. So essentially, the top part here is that that sticks out from the mold is going to be your bottom part. The underneath is your top part because if you can see, it's all smooth and shiny. So you want to make sure that you have the shiny side down when you're doing this. Um, let's see. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell, but you can tell also by which side is uh, smoother. All right. So what I like to do is put a little dot of the liquid fusion. So I can get it out here. There it goes. Put a little dot at the top, and a little dot at the bottom. Don't need a lot. I probably put a little too much here, but I'm going to take a little bit away. So then you're just going to put it right on top and make sure that it's even. I like to just flip it over and make sure that I have it covering make sure that it's covering the hole there, which it is. So we're just gonna flip it back and leave it be. And we're gonna do the same thing for the next one.
All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know which one of these um, you like in the comments down below. Maybe you like both of them. Um, yeah, so let me know. And again, I do sell all my products that I make. So if you are interested in any of these or anything in the future that I make, please feel free to reach out to me by email or you can uh, follow me on Instagram and message me there. I will link all of those information down in the description. And that's it for today's video, guys. I will see you in the next one.